Now what we're about to show you is what can happen at over 190 miles an hour in less than three seconds. If you're squeamish, you may want to look away. A bad crash here at Talladega. Just a very, very bad crash. When I saw it, I thought, uh, boy, I feel sorry for whoever that is. One car overturned in the banking of turn number one, got up into the catch fence and came back onto the racetrack. The car actually came down on the asphalt. Five cars went underneath it. It knocked me out for a bit, and I knew that I had gotten beaten up. You know, I'm so lucky. It's, it's unbelievable. Well, Ricardo, I guess you're wondering why we're standing here in front of a big screen. Ray, it's got to be a history lesson. Uh, somewhat of a history lesson, but you know we're getting ready to go to Talladega, and it's way back Wednesday, and way back in 1996, we had an incident. Uh, there was that. As you can see, the 24, the 6, and the 41 that you were driving, key players in this. The six is driving down. Mark Martin goes down on the inside. He starts to slide up through the trioval. He wants to get in the high groove. Jeff Gordon is there. Mark continues to come up. They make contact right here. Not good at 190 miles an hour. Turns Mark into the wall, sends the 24 sliding, and then what happens? I remember seeing this unfold, Ray. No escape route. A apron on the bottom. Roll over his hood. Hit. Impact. That's all I remember. Uh, unbelievable, Ricky, and you were so high that thing started flipping when you went up in the air. There you go, up, up, almost 40 feet. One, two, three, four, five cars go completely under you before the car comes crashing down onto the pavement. I did nail the landing, though, didn't I? Oh, boy, you nailed it all right. The car actually came down on the asphalt, on the pavement itself. There is pavement ground into the B-pillar here. As you can see right here, you start to get over, car goes up into the catch fence, the catch fence does its job. And I do remember it, the first hit, thinking, wow. Again, it's tremendous. Over. We're going to look again, the car's backwards. Let's look at how close you came, how hard it hit on the driver's side. There you go, up, over, into the catch fence, and down, right there, slams down onto the driver's side, back over on its wheels. And it happened so fast, you have no idea what you just went through. When I saw it, I thought, uh... Boy, I feel sorry for whoever that is. <laughs> what do you remember about that, Ricky? I mean, do, do you remember that big crash down from 40 feet in the air? I remember that first impact, and the rest of it doesn't really exist. But I felt it for months afterward, disrupted my sleep, effectively disrupted my season. And, uh, you know, that's, a, that's part of the consequence. When you get hurt, it's not just only in the race car. It's how it affects you out of the race car. It affected me. It carried through the next three or four months. I don't believe you. It didn't carry through the next week. What happened the next week? We went to a road course the next week. You want to tell us a little bit about that? As painful as that was, the most painful thing I think I've ever experienced is having to get out of my car. We had such a great start in 1996. I think we were fourth in points going into Talladega. But NASCAR was gracious. They said, look, you can start this car, make a lap, get your points, but then you got to come in and have your relief driver, Ron Hornaday. I agreed to that. I made a lap as soon as they dropped the green. I made my lap. Instead of coming down pit road, I zipped by the start finish line. My crew chief said, hey, you were supposed to come in. And I said, next time, made a lap. I have a choice to make. I zip past the pit road again, make a lap. They said, hey, what are you doing? And Ricky Craven is coming in, Jerry. That's the Kodiak Chevrolet. Now, 37-year-old Ron Hornaday standing on the wall, has his helmet on. I could not get out of the car. NASCAR eventually black flagged me. It was the most painful experience. As a race car driver, having to get out of your car is something I, I hope no, no driver has to uh, go through. The crowd enjoying this as they watch Ricky Craven climb out. Very gingerly, Craven out of the car. Hornaday jumps in. Well, as a crew chief, I wish I had to put a little bit better brakes on that 24 car, and maybe <laughs> that would have never happened. But, hey, thank goodness you survived all right, because we sure enjoy doing the show with you. Isn't it funny that we've not talked about this until now, <laughs> and, we can, and we can have fun with it, so uh, it all worked out.